Let's say you want to start crafting, but have no idea where to begin. What tools do you need? What materials can you use? Now that I have a few projects under my belt, I think I can give you some pointers to get you off the ground as fast as possible. We're going to start from zero, and assume you have no hobby tools at all. I'm also going to go out on a limb here, and assume you're still undecided if crafting is for you. So we're going to start with the least possible investment in time and money. The first thing you'll need is a sharp knife. This is essential whether you're going to work with foam or with card. You will probably use it in most of your projects, so it's worth taking the time to get used to. There are plenty of different hobby knives, but one with a retractable snap of blade like this one is super cheap and will work fine in most cases. The second thing you will need is something to cut with your new knife. You probably have some food packaging in your house. This is a great source for cardstock. I usually square mine up for easier storage, but you don't need to worry about that for now. What you do need to think about now is what you're going to cut. You can find plenty of paper craft templates on the internet, so that could be a good place to start. It will help you get a feel for the tools and the material, and working in scale. However, don't be limited by what you find. Once you're comfortable, get a pencil and a ruler and start drawing. Before you start cutting, you should get something to cover your work surface. This is my cutting mat. Your table will look like this if you're not careful. You can get a cutting mat later, but for now a large piece of plywood will be enough. When cutting straight lines, I like to use this metal ruler as a guide. If you use a wooden or a plastic ruler, the knife will cut into it, so you won't get consistent lines. Now that you've got all your bits, you can glue them together. I like to use PVA glue for this, but you can really use any glue that will work on paper. Super glue and you who will work. If you are using PVA glue, some tape can be useful to hold stuff in position while it dries, but it's not necessary. Before we go into the thicker stuff, let's make a quick recap of what we used so far. A knife, food packaging or any kind of cardstock, a pencil, a metal ruler, PVA glue, something to protect your table, and some tape, optional. Now, one problem with card is that it doesn't really have a lot of thickness. That's fine when working with closed shapes like most buildings, but if you want some extra thickness or just want a deeper texture, it can be a bit limited. It's also harder to make refer shapes, so let's look at XPS foam next. XPS, or extruded polystyrene, is an insulation foam you can find in places that sell building supplies. Unlike its cousin expanded polystyrene, you can cut it without making an absolute mess. You can also carve it, glue chunks together, and texture it with a pencil or a ball of aluminum foil. You can also use drywall joint compounds, speckle or polyfiller to fill any gaps. Word of warning here, some glues and propellants used in spray cans will melt foam. PVA and hot glue do not harm it, although you will need to buy a hot glue gun to use hot glue. If you are using PVA, some pins will be useful to lock pieces in place until it cures. If you plan to undercoat it with a spray paint, the safest thing to do is to seal it first. What I usually do is mix some black paint and PVA glue, water it down, and paint all over my piece. The black paint lets me see if I miss any spots, and when it dries, the glue will protect the foam from the propellant. Mod Podge works even better, as it contains varnish which will also harden the model. But it's not as easy to source where I live. The only problem with XPS is its thickness. You can easily cut thin sheets with a hotware table, but it's not something I'd recommend getting when you're just dipping your toes in. However, there's another option, foam core. Foam core or foam board is just a thin sheet of XPS foam sandwiched between two layers of paper. Ideally, you want to get the cheap stuff as it peels off really easily. Once you get the paper off, you can use it in exactly the same way as XPS. So, what did we add now? XPS foam or foam board, aluminum foil, Polyfiller or joint compound, pins, black paint, and mod podge, optional. That should be enough to get you started. We're not going to go into painting and finishing today as that's a rabbit hole of its own. But if you get a taste for crafting, we can go into that another time. If you're on Facebook, I also recommend taking a look at the Tabletop Crafters Guild or the Foam Modelers Workshop. Links below. They're excellent places to get tips and advice. You can also hit up my Discord server, again, links below. And if you have any favorite tools or materials which would be great for beginners, drop them in the comments below. Now, if you want to look at some things you can do with these tools and materials, you can click on this playlist here. Bye!